All right, let's dive into Google's shiny new gem, Gemini Live, their latest and greatest answer to OpenAI's advanced voice mode for ChatGPT. So, Google's just dropped Gemini Live, their cutting-edge move in the AI arena, and let me tell you, it's pretty darn impressive. Imagine having a chat with your phone that feels as natural as talking to a real person. That's the magic of Gemini Live. Google's been hinting at this for months, ever since their I.O. 2024 developer conference, and now it's finally here. Here's the scoop. Gemini Live isn't just about talking at your phone. It's about having a dynamic conversation with it. Think of it like chatting with a friend who's always got your back, but without the awkward pauses and questionable advice. Google's been hyping this up, and if you've been keeping an eye on OpenAI's advanced voice mode, you might have been wondering what Google had up its sleeve. Well, wonder no more. Gemini Live is their ace in the hole. With Gemini Live, you can engage in rich, flowing conversations right from your smartphone. It's got this supercharged speech engine that doesn't just mimic real talk, but adds a dash of emotional flair. Now let's talk about how it works. Gemini Live is all about keeping the chat rolling, even if you interrupt it mid-sentence. So if you're in the middle of a conversation and want to ask a quick follow-up, go ahead, just like you would with a friend at a coffee shop. Google's also bragging about how Gemini Live can keep the chat going, even if your phone's locked or you're doing other stuff. Yep, multitasking at its finest. This could seriously shake up how we interact with our gadgets. Up until now, voice assistants like Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa have been great for setting reminders or playing tunes. But let's be honest, they weren't winning any awards for deep conversation. But Gemini Live? It's designed to get the context of your questions and respond with something meaningful. So, if you ask it about the latest sports events or need a personalized workout plan, Gemini Live's got you covered. And here's the kicker. It remembers what you've been chatting about for a long time. Think hours of back and forth without losing track. It's like having a conversation with someone who's not just listening, but actually engaged. Imagine using Gemini Live to prepare for a job interview. It's a bit of a twist, practicing with an AI to get ready for another AI in a job interview. But hey, it could be super helpful. The AI can offer tips on what to say, how to say it, and even suggest which skills to highlight. And that's just one way you could use it. Whether you're brainstorming, seeking advice, or just mulling over a complex topic, Gemini Live makes the whole thing feel less scripted and more like a real chat. However, not all the bells and whistles are here just yet. Remember when Google teased features that would let Gemini respond to images and videos? Well, that's still in the works, but coming soon. For now, Gemini Live is only available in English and requires a Google One AI premium subscription, which runs about $20 a month. It's a bit expensive and not yet available on iOS, but hang tight. Google's working on it. Looking ahead, Android users will soon be able to summon Gemini Live over any app they're using. So, whether you're watching YouTube or drafting an email, you'll be able to ask questions or generate images right from your screen. While you can't create images of people yet, you can still jazz up your emails with cool backgrounds. It might seem like a small thing, but for those who juggle a lot on their phones, it's a nice touch. Plus, Google's adding new integrations with its other services, so soon you'll be able to use Gemini for everything from setting reminders in Google Calendar to digging up old recipes from your Gmail. Google has developed new Pixel 9 series which consists of the following models, Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, Pixel 9 Pro XL, and Pixel 9 Pro Fold. These phones are designed to work seamlessly with Google's Live explicitly, both in the cloud and on the device. This is made possible by the Google Tensor G4 chip, which is the fastest and most efficient processor yet. So, is Gemini Live worth it? From what I've seen, it's definitely one of Google's most impressive AI features to date. It feels like they've cracked the code on making a voice assistant that's actually useful for more than just alarms and playlists. But, as with any new tech, the true test will be how it performs in real life. We've all seen the glitzy demos that don't quite match up when we get our hands on the product, so while Gemini Live looks promising, I'm keeping my fingers crossed.
I'm done geeking out. What do you think about Gemini Live? Is it a game changer or just another tech fad? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our future tech dives. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you next time.